Hi everyone, it's Lady Ray. Welcome back to another reaction. In this video, we're going to react to Hwasa with her newest music video called LMM. And uh, I've already reacted to Maria before and that was a whole like experience, I would say. And I have listened to the whole album. Like, it's just such a masterpiece. I just love how unique and powerful and special she is. And uh, considering that after watching the teaser, I have a feeling this is going to be something that's very like in touch with, you know, her emotion and more sensual and more just like raw. Not gonna lie, I'm like really exhausted right now. I really need something to just kind of like relax my soul and my mind. And today's comment and Instagram shout out goes to these two lovely people right here. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Make sure you give this video a like, you know, subscribe, and down below hit the bell. And without further ado, let's get into it. Where is this place? This is like so beautiful. Flowers do bloom even in rain falling down. Wow. I'm already like getting a sense of hurt and growth. Oh, I love how this is already like so relaxing for me. Oh my God. She's so beautiful. I love this song and the album, by the way. And the lyric is pretty powerful. What were the things that were like flying? Oh, those are arrows. Okay. Yes, yes, those are arrows. I love her. Ya, ya, ya. Yes. Wow, there's so many arrows. Whoa. All right, so that's definitely very symbolic, I would assume. Ooh, I like the beat, yes. Mm. Her voice is so beautiful, man. Wow, I love the shot, yes. It's like, it's so simplistic. But it's like, it's powerful, you know? Wow. Whoever took the shots, like, you're insane. Wow, yes, yes, I've seen the scene. So pretty. I don't know why I have like a, like a feeling of sadness for her. Like, you know, almost like a feeling of wanting to cry. Oh, now she's the one shooting the arrow. Interesting. What? My god. Wow, that was some powerful shit. The shot, the scenery is crazy. Where is this place? Oh, there's more. Okay. Whoa! This reminded me of something, but I don't know what it's reminding me of. Wow. Yo, I'm like... Like, I have goosebumps, you know? It's so powerful, wow, all of these people involved. Hats off to all of you, man. Wow. The only reference that I kind of can make a connection with Maria is, you know, the scene where she was uh, like in the corner and then a lot of pens were like targeting her. And this one is like literal arrows from the sky trying to shoot, even though somehow other than that one blow, which I would argue that blow was actually from herself because she's the one shooting out. So I just think it's pretty interesting. The interpretation of like me personally for the arrow, I think the obvious meaning would be, you know, like all of this like negative, um, like hatred from people towards her. But I think it can also be something that's a bit more broad, just like every single thing that she has overcome and don't have to necessarily be with dealing with other people think it also like represents some inner struggles as well that uh you know it's like 
it, like things are so hard and, and painful sometimes that it could feel like the world is against you like the world is just like targeting you this one individual and like nothing seems to be right and you're just like i don't know just kind of dancing in this arrow rain and trying to you know dodge as much as you can but what we see here in a music video hwasa she didn't didn't really like dodge she was more of like effortlessly embrace the arrow and just kind of like walk through it i think that just speaks volume of what kind of person she is you know even though there's still like uh, a lot of these obstacles could be outer forces or something more you know from her inside thoughts she still tries to move forward she still continues to overcome and whatever you know struggle that she have which i really think that you know, this this is more of an like internal evaluation kind of thing. I personally, right now, can really resonate with that. I feel like there's a lot of the times that I am just like too hard on myself and I would, I don't know, I don't really treat myself as a friend and there's so much negative thoughts that I have, you know, towards myself, even though that's not what necessarily uh, how things are, I just, I don't know, I keep thinking it in a negative kind of way. Maybe it's because of, you know, this whole pandemic thing. It's just, it has been kind of a dangerous pattern to get into, which I definitely need to be aware of that. And that's why recently I'm trying to, you know, reinforce more positive things, positive thoughts, and just learn or do things that I enjoy or what I want to do. I recently picked up tarot. Not that because I like religiously believe in it, but I just think it's like a very fun meditating session. I only read for myself, but occasionally, maybe I'll read for other people soon. Yeah, but you know, it's totally not related to the story. Um, this is definitely a very powerful piece of song. I just cannot emphasize how like shaken I was inside. I'm just, I'm so proud of, you know, what she has achieved, even though you know, she's been through a lot and yeah, I definitely look up to her. She is one of a kind and she is definitely one of my goddesses that I, you know, from time to time uh, kind of like think about and to just like keep me in the right path. All right, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Make sure you give this video a like and also subscribe and down below hit the bell and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.